It's nougat. No good. <laughs> no good. You aren't happy now, though. But in time, it will be better. In Spain, we have an expression. The house is not built, so smoke comes from the chimney. You understand? No. Maybe this will explain. The bull does not cry till his horns touch the sky. Yes? The ship comes home when the sailor is lost. <laughs> the no, never mind. This is the worst part about breaking up. Ah, uh, your childhood sweetheart? No. That's my little boy and little girl. Preciosos, such pretty children. Jesus, preciosos, no? Si, muy preciosos. The little girl looks like you. That's the little boy. <laughs> <laughs> they live with their father? No. They're away at summer camp. They have a wonderful father. He's very strict with them, but always fair. So he is an exceptional man. This one time he... What am I saying? You don't want to hear any of this. Of course we do. It's good to get everything up. We got it up. You need to get it up too, Flo. I'm trying. That's him. That's Sydney. Oh, very distinguished. Jesus, distinguished, no? Uh, si. Very distinguished. Is he a cowboy? <laughs> no. He just likes to wear boots. Uh, he has beautiful, thick black hair. Huh? Is he Spanish? No, but I think his hair is. <laughs> is it this nice? There's no one in the picture. I know. That's my living room. <laughs> We have a gorgeous apartment. Yes, it's very beautiful. Those lamps are very beautiful. We bought those lamps in Italy. Very rare lamps. Oh, I loved my apartment so much. I never wanted to go out. Everybody was always talking, laughing. I thought it was going forever. And suddenly, it's all gone. Sydney, the laughter, the lamps. Oh. Uh, don't be sad, Flo. There's a place in Brooklyn where you can buy the same lamps. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting so emotional. Have some guacamole dip. It is good to cry. It washes the pain away. It's true, hate. When Manolo said goodbye to his wife, he cried for three days. Really? I loved her like no man could love a spouse. Every night I still think of her. Is this true, Zeus? Hate. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Every night I hear him thinking of her. Sometimes I think I made a huge mistake. If I loved Selena so much, why did I leave her? I was insane, and now it's too late. Maybe it's not too late. It is too late. She got married last month. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's the same, only much worse. My Venezuela was forgiven. Unfaithful. Today, I would forgive her. Because I love her so very much. I will never find another woman like Consuela. Do you know who the other man was? See, si. His ex-wife's new husband! He was real! Everybody happy? What the hell happened? What did you say to them? Nothing! Really, my pride go inside and look at your dead bird! I think she's the most sensitive woman I've ever met. <laughs> so delicate, so fragile, so Spanish. <laughs> you only find that kind of woman in Barcelona. Well, when she gets out of that kitchen, that might be where she's heading. I hope everyone likes dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can save it. Save it? The black bird? It looks like the whole thing's out there. Uh, can we look at it slower? Please. <laughs> that is a very, very burnt bird. <laughs> Don't worry, Gal. We have chicken by it. Upstairs, ten minutes. With this? No. I have Stouffer's frozen by it. It's better than real food. Good then. We'll see you upstairs, apartment 14 feet. We won't even wait for the elevator. It's true. I hear there are dogs in there. Yeah. 
for women. All right, boys, let's go grab that guacamole, Jim. They're not going. What? I don't know what to say to them. The ship comes home and the sailors lost? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm not a Spanish philosopher. I am a frustrated American woman. Now take that guacamole dip. I can't. I feel too guilty. <coughs> Emotionally, I'm still attached to Sydney. Florence, defrosting paella with Jesus is not adultery. Now take that guacamole dip. All right, all right. But it won't be any fun. It's tense as a board. Even my dress feels hard. Cut it out, Florence. You're gonna get sick in the elevator again. Ah! Oh God! Oh, oh my back is broken! Gosh, your back is not broken, Florence. Would you cut that out? You don't God. touch me! Damn it! You are going to ruin my oh, whole night again, aren't you? God. Mm. Oh, I can't leave you like this. No, I want you to go. Please go. You're just making me tenser. I'll get you some aspirin. Please, God. Don't let me die here. I still have two children to raise. Please, God, help me. Please, God, make her shut up. Please, God, make her be quiet. Like it. You just let it hang there, wouldn't you? Getting all crowded, all 
Quietly, Queenie, and I will break every sinus in your head. Why? What is it I've done? What's driving you crazy? The cooking? The cleaning? The crying? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it is, okay? It is the cooking, the cleaning, and the crying. It is the moose calls that wake me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. I am cracking up, Florence. I can't take it anymore. Everything you do irritates me. Oh my gosh, and when you're not here, the things I know you're going to do when you get home irritate me. You leave these, these little notes on my pillows. They're all out of cornflakes. F you. It took me three weeks to realize that F you met Florence Unger. All right. <laughs> it's nobody's fault, Florence. We're just a rotten pair. I get the picture. Oh, no. That's just the frame. The picture I haven't even painted yet. Every single night in my diet, 